Hello, greetings. Uh, so today again on uh, Surah Al Imran verse seventy-nine. It's me, Zahra Jawad, again on this religion to show you who has lied and who has not lied. So we have so much confusion between Sunni Shias also conflicts going on. <coughs> Confusions in understanding this religion or in this religion so much confusion and lack of understanding to put it properly. So please open your Quran to Surah Ali Imran. I'm going to show you slowly but surely what a thing this is, how we have been deceived and uh, um, how he has, uh, uh, his Allah has changed words, tricked us. How intelligently, calculatingly, cunningly and connivingly. Uh, so that you can be free as soon as possible from all these lies, confusions, doubts that you may have but fear to bring them out or um, share them with anyone. But try to understand yourself. Those people out there, also Muslims, who are scared to discuss these confusions, doubts with anyone. For you also, I'm reaching out to you also. And for you, I'm doing this also. <clears throat> so here we have, it is not for a human prophet that Allah should give him the scripture. Okay, I'm not saying what's in the bracket, but prophet is in the bracket. So sometimes if I don't say something is in the bracket, in the translation, Please, uh, you know, correct me and uh, you open the Quran yourself. And know that this is about a human prophet who has been a human, who has been given scripture, authority and prophethood. I've already read this uh, verse out in my previous videos. Uh, and then he would say to the people, continuing, then he would say, and then he would say to the people, be servants to me rather than Allah. But instead, he would say, be pious scholars of the Lord. Because of what you have taught of the scripture and because of what you have studied. First thing is translations vary and it may make a world of dif difference if uh, some translations have what the prophet has taught and what he has uh, taught, uh, been revealed, what the prophet has been taught by Allah and then what he has uh, been telling us as a teacher, right? So this, then we try to see that, okay, uh, some, uh, like some uh, Quran only and Sunni Muslims take this uh, verse. There's no way, right? No way you can, uh, this uh, prophet would say, be my servants rather than Allah. But to show you how, in a way, roundabout manner, he has done this. Also, discrepancies in the Quran apart from God uh, and uh, besides God and along with God. So in Surah Sumar, I think, I found the ayat uh, that says, maybe in Surah Sumar. So maybe I went live or maybe I did a video that uh, I found it. Where is it? Surah Namal? Uh, I've done a live stream earlier on, on Facebook. So in Surah Namal, maybe they say that uh, they take these gods uh, along with Allah. So there is a right. Uh, he has put it right in the Quran ayat in one of the surahs, along with Allah. Now, I can go to the Facebook live stream and check uh, Surah Namal ayats. I think they're in. Oh, sorry, Surah Nahal, B. And you know, uh, God can uh, change laws. It's in Surah Nahal, right? So, my uh, live stream, uh, that I can show you later on. Um, so now, I'll show you later on what uh, God can change laws. So our Imams have said uh, whatever... Later on, I can tell you about that, that he can change his uh, signs for another sign, ayats, and how uh, 
you know then you can uh, even break oaths and all this but uh, for the the way the idol worshippers jews and christians are judged it's unfair to them so that also i'm showing you how unfair it is so like i said i know that there is a ayat where god uh, like here his god says <coughs> that along with allah uh, they worship them or something like this which i will show you later word by word verbatim be servants to me rather than allah still on this ayat now the surah al imran ayat 79 round about manner you see obey allah and obey the messenger how many ayats are there you have to obey the messenger so in obeying the messenger what does a servant do obey his master right and um isn't he a partner to allah because allah's messenger so this and many other things like this uh, uh he has uh, made us quite uh, in a roundabout manner uh, to take him associate him with allah is the mercy of allah there's uh, many things like that right beloved of allah uh his zikr allah praises him so what about those ayats in the quran in different different surahs we are told and also obedience obey allah and obey the prophet i can tell you from surah azab but there are in other surahs too so here uh, what uh, reason does he give like that this is okay this is okay right ha huh? but uh, that is uh, like for example the surah juma jews uh, jews uh, uh, jews take uh, they claim they are allies of, of allah excluding all other people so you see i'm going to show you again and again how tricky how uh, what the confusion how he has made us worship him in a roundabout manner but it will take time for you muslims and the shias uh, to sink i i was a shia so if i could find a verse that uh, you know satisfies me that no no uh, he's right these ayats seemingly contradictory and then you add up to it and uh, sometimes like in surah zuma okay authority has not been sent down but what if idol worshippers say that uh, authority we take them as protectors uh, or how which verse shall i take you see like in surah zumar or surah ghafir which one is it that i can show you let me see authority when authority has not been given to them so i don't know take it uh, this is very half hazard and all this uh, unprofessional uh surah ali imran surah al nur uh, the parable of the light you know uh, prophet muhammad is also the light sacred light he is nur surah uh, 5 verse 15 mercy for all the worlds surah 21 verse 107 his name is muhammad me okay allah has exalted his zikr remembrance uh, his exaltation on the night of mihraj his station of praise maqam al mahmud can see the verses here but i can give you the verses however what i'll do is i'll have to go through the surah zumar verses and uh, what i've missed what i said in uh, that i'll do later So in Surah Zumar, uh, th- uh, three I already like uh, verse three, unquestionably for Allah is the pure religion, and those who take protectors besides Him. You see, I remember the verse in the Quran. Like where is it? So I got Surah Zumar again. Like um, what was it? Obedience is only due to Allah, right? So some people translate this verse. unquestionably obedience is only due to allah and we only worship okay and now the so 
Like for example, I searched, whoops, obedience is only due to Allah. See, so what happened is, uh, I got this, right? The companion, Surah Zumar, the Quran from Q U O D dot lib dot umic dot edu. Now, surely sincere obedience is due to Allah alone in brackets. Even the translators don't know alone or what uh, Allah means by that. But they put alone in brackets. And as, as for in brackets, close bracket, those who take guardians besides him, saying we do not serve them. So let's go to this way of translating this uh, Surah Zumar ayat again, companions, uh, verse 3. Now surely sincere obedience is due to Allah. Like they, in Arabic, it's deen, a religion. Some say sincere religion, but it doesn't make sense. Sincere religion is due to Allah. So they, uh, see, one has whoever the translator is here of this Quran. And here the Quran is spelled with a K. Now surely sincere obedience is due to Allah alone. As for those who take guard, guardians, Besides him, so I showed you about the guardians in Surah Maida, who is your guardian, Allah is your guardian, uh, the messenger is your guardian, and the one who is the righteous among the believers is your guardian, who uh, prays, who has established prayer and bows down while giving uh, zakat. Those who take guardians besides him, saying, we do not serve them, save that they may make us nearer to Allah. Those who take guardians besides him. So what does Allah say? What Because uh, you can have guardians, right? Your guardian is Allah, Surah Maida Ayat, I think. Your guardian is Allah, most surely, yes. Uh, Allah, excuse me, I'm drinking something. Your guardian is Allah, the messenger and uh, those uh, righteous believers or uh, However, it's put there. So that, and then he, okay, so how do we make out that these people are wrong who take others as guardians besides him? This is the way he's put it for those non-Muslims. So it's not right, right? We do not serve them, save those who take guardians besides him, meaning Allah, saying, we do not serve them, save that they may make us nearer to Allah. Surely Allah will judge between them in that in which they differ. Surely Allah does not guide him aright, who is a liar, ungrateful. So I still cannot find that, uh, say, O oh my servants who believe, be careful of your duty to your Lord. Those good in the world. I am commanded. 11, verse 11, say, I am commanded that I should serve Allah, being sincere to him in obedience. Uh, this Prophet Muhammad has been commanded. And I'm commanded that I shall be the first of those who submit. See, I fear if I disobey my Lord, the chastisement of a grievous day. So obedience is uh, with the uh, worship, right? Comes with worship. Say, Allah, it is whom I serve. Serving Allah is also worship. Being sincere to him in my obedience. Obedience is also worship. Serve then what you like besides him. Say the losers surely are those who shall have lost themselves and their families on the day of resurrection. You don't want to be them, right? Who have lost themselves and their families. Now surely that is the clear loss. 16, uh, okay, not important. Oh my servants, so be careful of your duty to me, O oh my servants. Last, just the ending uh, ayat, part 17. As for those who keep off from uh, the worship of the idols and turn to Allah, they shall have good news. Those who listen to the word, then for I'm just trying to cut myself. Wherever it's important, this thing, uh, the subject at hand, uh, the ayats, uh, part, even parts of it. So I will not read the whole ayat if it's not important for my subject here, subject in uh, discussion and showing you. 
I'm not in discussion with anyone right now. I'm just showing you. So Allah made them taste the disgrace, but in discussion with, I guess, this Quran. Who is then more unjust than he who utters lie against Allah and who gives lie to truth? Uh, so, whether insufficient for self and same. Okay, I go to verse 42. Allah takes the souls at the time of their uh, death and those that die not during their sleep. What's 43? Or have they taken intercessors? Here it's verse 43. But in other Qurans, uh, no, no. That's in Surah Ghafir, I see. Uh, commanded to worship Allah alone. Verse 13. Did I miss that? No, I didn't miss it, right? Maybe I didn't. didn't uh, 11. Say I'm commanded. Third, 12. And I'm commanded that I shall be the first of those who submit. Say I fear if I just... Oh, so there's some... Uh, this Quran is different than that Quran in numbers, uh, ayat numbers. Okay, so it's you who has guardians of our own person. Bring truth. Uh, you should ask them who created the events. So searching. 44, say Allah's is the intercession altogether. Okay, 43, or have they taken intercessors besides Allah? Say what? Even though they did not ever have control? over anything or do they understand so some intercessors like prophet muhammad must have control over something right so or have they taken intercessors besides allah say what even though they do not ever have control over anything so ask forgiveness for them and if they had come to you and made you a judge Allah would have forgiven them, all these ayats. 44, say Allah's is the intercession altogether. His is the king. Okay, Allah's is the intercession. Uh, say, O oh Allah, originator, judges between the servants and unjust. Okay, uh, let me see if I can. So Allah, there is no God but He, the living, the self, subsisting, eternal. No samba can seize our mercy. Is all things in the heavens and on earth. Who can intercede in his presence except as he will it? Quran Ayat Surah Baqarah, Ayatul Kursi. Please read in. Who can intercede in his presence except <coughs> as he permitted? So sometimes there are intercession ayats that he has permitted and given authority. And that they have some control over. The intercessors do have some control over some things like Muhammad does, Prophet Muhammad. Say, O oh, my servants who have acted extravagantly against their own souls, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Surely Allah forgives the faults altogether. Surely He is uh, the forgiving, the merciful. Follow the best that has been revealed to you from your Lord before there comes to you the punishment all of a sudden. Oh God. And let's uh, dot, dot, dot. Let's just show souls should say and what not. And A, my communications came to you, but you rejected them. But how did they? They came through a, a messenger. And you're saying, no, uh, only read the Quran, what he has taught you. But uh, are you saying, uh, sometimes you're saying, obey Allah and obey him, the, your messenger. Sometimes you're saying, no, only read the Quran, what he has taught you, and obey him. But these idol worshippers, they should not obey anyone other than besides Allah. Of uh, no authority do they have. And Allah should deliver the oh, really this is so confusing. Um do you see how? And uh, we so associate okay, this one. Sixty five. And certainly it has been revealed to you and to those before you. Surely if you associate with Allah <coughs> please go slow. And certainly it has been revealed to you and to those before you. Surely, if you say, what did you then uh, bid me serve others than Allah or oh, ignorant men? Jahalat, jahil. 64, verse before this. I just jump back. And uh, now uh, continuing, 65. Oh, ignorant, jahil people. And cert, uh, 65 again. And certainly it has been revealed to you and to those before you. Surely, if you associate with Allah, 
your work would certainly come to naught, and you would certainly be of the losers. So I finished the verse. In the middle, I just went up 64. Say, what do you then bid me serve others than Allah? Like you are serving others than Allah rather than Allah? O oh, ignorant men. 60, uh, that was 64. I'm not going to 65. I'm going to 66. I already so, so see here because it nay, but serve Allah alone and be of the thankful. But you have to serve Muhammad. The messenger of Allah. Obey him. Obey Allah and obey the messenger. What they give you, take it. Right? Zainab and Josh was asked to marry Zed, Surya Zavas. Obey Allah and the messenger. And suddenly it has been revealed to you, okay, 67, and they have not honored Allah with the honor that is due to him. Doesn't Allah say on the Prophet Muhammad? Hmm? In uh, Surah Fat, Ayat 9. And the whole earth shall be in his grip on the day of resurrection. And trumpet shall be blown. Earth shall beam to light of his Lord. And who is the light? Also, Prophet Muhammad. <coughs> so this earth shall beam with the light of its Lord and the book shall be laid down and the prophets and the witnesses shall be brought up and judgment shall be given between them with justice and they shall not be dealt with unjustly and every soul shall be paid fully for what it has done and he knows all okay. 75 let me see anything else uh, any sentence funny 72 verse uh, 73 careful of your duty keep come to it doors will be peace be on you and they shall have praise be to Allah who has made good to us his promise and he has made us inherit the land. Like we would answer the Sunni Muslims about Imam Mahdi being the inheritor of the land. So you would not say that, you know, they're taking these warises. Shias. 12 Shias and these Shias, Ismaili. And they shall all pray, they, and they shall say, All praise is due to Allah who has made good to us his promise, like he made good to so, Hazrat Suleiman Dawood, giving them a lot, uh, the, another a surah in another surah. And he has made us inherit the land. We may abide in the garden where we please land. So this land in Jannat. But you know, they've been inherited paradise on earth. Some, some, <coughs> <coughs> so some ayats are like this. Uh, they, they inherit the paradise. Surah Mu'minin or, or believers ayat, a uh, surah in that Ayat is there. They inherit paradise. But here we are told, if you just pay a little bit of an attention, his promise, praise be what has good, uh, made good uh, to us, his promise. And he has made us inherit the land. Land. We may abide in the garden, Jannah, where we please. So goodly is the reward of the workers. Okay, maybe if you say, uh, please see. So there are some waris inheritors on this land. Imam Sahib Zaman um, was he uh, Rasulullah, inheritor of uh, Prophet Muhammad, Messenger of Allah. On land he is. He will inherit this because justice will come, right? Justice will be done. Something like this. Anyways, and you shall see the angels going round about the throne, glorifying the praise. Okay, this is not important. And then we go to the other ayat next, afterwards, after this. Uh, we go to Surah Ghafir. So in that we are told, uh, call not on anyone other than Allah. Okay, here we have uh, this ayat here. 7 of Surah Ghafir, 40th chapter of the Quran. 
those angels who carry the throne and those around it exalt Allah with praise of their Lord and believe in him and ask forgiveness for those who have believed saying our Lord you have encompassed all things in mercy and knowledge yeah wait a minute those angels who carry the throne and those around it exalt Allah with praise of their Lord praise Muhammad too Allah has praised Muhammad in another ayat I'm forgetting the number in the surah and believe in him, what does Surah Fat say? Believe in Allah and believe in this messenger. Honor him, right? So we take it, yeah, we take it for granted, I think. <coughs> <coughs> or how do we take it? And how is he saying believe in Muhammad? You have to believe in Muhammad to believe in this Quran because it came down on his heart. Okay, this and ask forgiveness for those who have believed, saying, ask, take arms out of their wealth for them and pray for them. Surely your prayer is a source of security and peace for them. And there's also another ayat that says, ask forgiveness for them. Our Lord, thy reach is over all things. That is true. Sing glory and play, praise to the Lord. Our Lord, admit them to gardens of perpetual so even the angels are praying for us and protect them from evil consequences. But does it? Indeed, those who are, does it have an effect? Indeed, those who disbelieve will be addressed. The hatred of Allah for you was greater than your hatred of yourselves. This day in hell, when you are invited to faith, but you disbelieve. What is faith? That you obey Allah and no one else, that you worship Him alone and you keep religion, obedience to Him alone, for Him alone. This is what it is. 11. They will say, Our Lord, we made, uh, you made us lifeless twice and gave us life twice. Shia said this is not reincarnation. Okay. They will be told this is because when Allah was called upon alone, sirf Allah ka naam hai. When Allah, uh, they will be told, 12, verse 12, because it's very, very important for Sunni and Shias also. Conflict. Very, very important. They will be told that is because when Allah was called upon alone, upon alone, what did they do? Okay, please don't go crazy on me here. My tab. Uh, just uh, let, how old are um, Sorry. Uh, that is because when Allah was called upon alone, you disbelieved. But if others were associated with him, you believed. What does in Surah Fatullah say? So the judgment is with Allah, the Most High, the Grand. Huh? See, please, pay attention here. That is because when Allah was called upon alone, you disbelieved. But if others were associated with him, you believed. Okay? Literally, Surah Fat, Surah Fat Ayat 9. Ayat 9. Very, very important. I have to go fast with this. In order that you, O men, may believe in Allah. Does it say alone? No. And his messenger. And his messenger. That you may, that you may assist and honor him and celebrate his praise morning and evening. Does it here say believe in Allah alone? Or does it say, and his messenger? It says, and his messenger. Surah Fat, Ayat 9. What does this Ghafir Ayat say? Ayat 12. They will be told that is because when Allah was called upon alone, <coughs> you disbelieved. But if others were associated with him, you believed. Let us uh, marinate 
Pay attention. Marinate in this verse. And take out the rest of the ayats. If you have any other, please let me know in your mind. Okay, call upon. So they will be told that it's because when Allah was called upon alone, When Allah was invoked, Allah was invoked, though alone, you disbelieved. Mm. Allah, okay, here, no ayat is coming in my mind, but you disbelieved. But if others, here, this part. And if others were associated with him, you believed. Who is Allah associating with belief along with him in Surah Fat? In order that you, O man, may believe in Allah and his messenger. Believe. This is now not obey, but believe. Quran.com What in Surah Zamar? Religion is only due to Allah. I am commanded to worship only Allah and no one else. But don't, that you may believe. Quran.com In Allah and His Messenger. So you see, if Allah was enough, then He could, uh, without the Messenger, just, uh, you know, we need to something, uh, just be guided like uh, these, uh, forget the Guru. Just do meditation. Someone has, uh, like Allah said, uh, we have sent these messengers in Surah, uh, where is it, Ali Imran, verse uh, 79. You just study this scripture, not honor this prophet. Honor him, respect him, and exalt him. Morning and afternoon. Please, your translations, I don't trust him. What to sabbihuhu. Honor the, this prophet, please. Okay, even if you say Allah, I don't know what you, really, okay. But anyhow, we'll go the roundabout manner. Because he's gone the roundabout manner. Uh, to blame the idol worshippers, Jews, Christians. Everyone, except for him, uh, him and his believers, Imam Ali. That is because when Allah was called upon alone, you disbelieved. Uh -huh. And what is this year? The, thank God for this. Some selected, uh, exalted. So what, when Allah was called upon mercy for all worlds, Allah has exalted his zikr, remembrance. Surah 94 verse. Four. Anything else, beloved of Allah, receive the Holy Quran uh, among the prophets, given the knowledge of the proven greatest prophets, uh, serves only Allah, the glorified and exalted. Okay, his exemplary character preaches Islam. Is blessed his blessed household and companions. Believe, assist, honor, love, respect, and obey him. Uh, love Allah and his beloved more than anything else. Surah 9, verse 24. Surah Tawba. Love Allah and his beloved more than anything else. I'm trying to see for call. If you can call on Rasulullah. Whatever he gives you, take it. This Remember? Surah 59, verse 7. Follow the commands of Allah and of His beloved Prophet. Surah Azab 33, verse 36. Whatever He gives you, take it. I already said this, the reward of believing in Him. Surah 57, verse 28. Believing in the Prophet. Allah ka naam, sirf Allah ka naam, alone. Okay, it says, I can't find that where an accepted intercessor. 
His prayer a solace for hearts. Surah Tawbah, this one I've been saying, 103. Take arms out of their wealth for them. Allah appointed him as an intercessor to plead for people's forgiveness. How many surahs? <gasps> Surah 3, verse 159. Surah 4, verse 64. Surah 60, verse 12. That's it. An accepted intercessor. Surah 19, verse 87. Surah 20, verse 109. And you're still saying, no, no, no. Allah said, not call on him. Only call on me alone. Invoke me alone. Intercession, intercessor, Shafi. Quran ayat I'm giving you, not hadith. Please. Then you will, uh, what? Okay, the splitting of the moon is in the Quran. I did not know that. So this is for me. Surah 50. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Surah 54, verse 1 and 2. Historic miracle, human miracle, he changed people's hearts. Living miracle, the Holy Quran. His miracles. Prophet Muhammad's miracles. Wait jihad amidst persecution. Now, does not ask him to seek peace. Allah helped him in jihad. Allah made him victorious. Non-believers plot to kill him. His persecution commanded to fight alone for Allah. Hmm. Follow the... Okay. You see this? Intercessor? Shafi? Thank you. Uh, compiled by Siddiq Osman Noor Muhammad. Okay. And uh, this website is called Ikra Islamic Publications. Ikra.net. Uh, some selected verses from the Holy Quran on L beloved Prophet Muhammad. Sal, like that. His name is Muhammad. Okay, we know his name is Muhammad, meaning that the most praised one. His station of praise, Al Maqam Al Mahmud. Surah 17, verse 79. What else do you, you don't need? Uh, okay, not to call on. Don't call on Rasulullah. Okay. Appointed him as an intercessor to plead for forgiveness, for people's forgiveness. An accepted intercessor. His prayers are solace for hearts. But do not call him, he's, he's dead. You not ever see what the martyrs are in the Quran ayat. Ah, and okay, but uh, what other in this uh, where? Surah Ghafir? Ah, ah, they will be told that uh, it's because when Allah was called upon alone, you disbelieved. But if others were associated with him, you believed. This is uh, blaming the idol worshippers. And those who join others with Allah. Without authority, then we are told somewhere in other ayat. So the judgment is with Allah, the most high, the current. What else is there? It is he who shows you his signs and sends down to you. Now you get it. You believe. Surah Fat also. You believe in Allah and his messenger. You need to see this with your eyes. Please open Surah Fat. Ayat 9. So invoke Allah sincere to him in a religion, although the disbelievers dislike it. You see, idol worshippers looking very, very like, huh? You know, their eyebrows turned one up, one down. What this? Hmm? One up, one down. I'm also looking at this. Surah Ghafir, verse 14. So invoke Allah being sincere to him in a religion, although the disbelievers dislike it. Is this really sincere to him in a religion, invoking Allah alone, or you've put Prophet Muhammad's remembrance also, zikr, up top? Believe in Allah. Here you're saying, no, no, no. Only believe in Allah. No one else, not even Prophet Muhammad then, <coughs> right? Shall I give you a break? 
he is the exalted uh, please marinate marinate degree on of the places inspiration of his command upon whom he wills of his servants the one day of meeting the day they come forth nothing can tell no this not the important a day of soul yes what else is there and warn them of muhammad of the approaching day right when hearts are at the the throats filled with distress for the wrongdoers there will be no devoted friend and no intercessor who is obeyed he knows that which deceives the eyes and what the breast conceals surely muhammad knows well what deceives the eyes and his Allah, what how he deceive us. You see? Surah Ghafir, Ayat 19. He knows that which deceives the eyes, deceives the eyes, and what the bris conceals. <laughs> Hearts. He writes the bris. What is going on? Bris. Qalb no, fuad no, breath. Your mother's milk will not be given to you if you. I will not give you milk on the day of judgment. Your milk will come out from your nose if you not obey me. And Allah and not take any, be Muslims. And Allah judges with truth while those they invoke beside him judge not with anything. Judges with truth. And who is made the judge for you people? And those, while those they invoke besides him. Oh, oh, oh. So we are invoking, oh judge, king Solomon. Come, please judge. David, who went to David? David was made the judge by God. So this we say, Shias, what do you say? Overall, ayat, a general, and then going specific, down, 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 down like a triangle making. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. You mean to say you did not make a Hazrat Dawud judge? Ayat is there. I show you, we have to go, so I have to show you. And Allah judges with truth. While those they invoke besides him, judge not with anything. Indeed, Allah is the hearing, the seeing. Hazrat Dawood, where is it? The U, uh, the U case. Uh, U has a uh, uh, verse. Hazrat Dawood, Quran. Right? Let me see if I can find it. This man is my brother. And he has nine and ninety ewes, and I have but one. Yet he says, commit her to my care. And it moreover harsh to me in speech. Surah 82, uh, sorry, 38 verse 23. Please open. <sighs> we make a judge here. Verily this brother. So let me see previous. Okay, Surah 38, verse 23. Surah 38, verse 23. Surah 20, Surah 38, verse 23. Please open 23. Uh, Surah Saad. Surah Saad, right? Behold, this is my brother. Now something will pop up here. On this, my son, brother does not mean a real. Okay, sorry, sorry. Al uh, Al uh, Maududi, because you see on Facebook I got uh, some copyright infringement by the reading, just the reading from a website, and maybe not to give. Uh, sorry, I did not mean to cop uh, infringe any copyrights. Uh, this my Islam dot org. Surely this my brother has ninety nine U's, and I have one U. So he said to me, let me be her sponsor. And he got the better of me in speech. 
So, no, no, I want to go uh, to the uh, next ayat also. 23. So, we go to Quran.com, uh, 23 to 29. Who Allah make a judge? Indeed, this brother has, uh, okay. And so, David said he has certainly wronged you in demanding your you to his use, in addition to his use. And indeed, many associates oppress one another, except for those who believe and do righteous deeds. And few are they. And uh, David became certain that we had tried him. And he asked forgiveness of his Lord and fell down bowing in prostration and turned, turned in repentance to Allah. So we forgave the, him that. And indeed for him is nearness to us and a good place of return. We said, O oh David, indeed we have made you a successor upon the earth. So judge between the people in truth. And do not follow your own desire, as it will lead you astray from the way of Allah. Um, what important I read, I believe. Allah. And those who go astray from the way of Allah. So see, judge. O Dawood. Indeed, we have made you. Sorry. I'm using Quran.com uh, uh, word by word, Arabic uh, translation and uh, sound. We have made you a vice gerent. So judge between the men. So do not get away Shias by saying that this in Surah Ghafir, because you also not understand general verse. And Allah judges with truth, while those they invoke besides him judge not with anything. So not to make Dawood a judge either on earth. Oh my God. Surah uh, Ghafir verse 20. Are you, I'm as dumb as ever. I'm telling you. So please be intelligent. I will be repeating myself like an old uh, hag that Allah call uh, whose wife? Lut's wife or old hag? Old woman. Maybe punishing me. While those they invoke besides him. So they call on, uh, they say, Oh, oh, Dawood. Maybe Dawood, let's uh, idol worshiper. What? Oh, Brahman. Oh, Brahman. Please judge between us. And you're saying, Oh, Abraham. You know, like that. Like, Oh, Dawood. Uh, did, did he not come call on Dawood? For judgment on earth. How you judge? <sighs> no one can defend you against Allah, we know. <coughs> Verse now I going down. I have to. And we did certainly send Moses with our signs and a clear authority. Here he says authority. And when, so what if the idol worshippers have authority? Sri Ram. And when he brought them the truth from us, okay, sons of this all we leave, uh, we go down to, uh, not important, I read before, transgressors and liars. Guide us, clear signs from a Lord, but you transgressed. But I show you now the clear signs here in these ayats, how we have been deceived. Right? Uh, 42. Now I I'll go to verse 42 of Surah Ghafir. Uh, 42. 43. Please open your Quran. I'm looking here. 42. And, oh, my people, how is it that I invite you to salvation while you invite me to the fire? 42. You invite me to disbelieve in Allah and associate with Him. So if you disbelieve, if you associate anything with Him, you are disbelieving in Allah, right? How you associate Muhammad, Dawood as judge and all this? Muhammad as messenger of Allah to be obeyed. 
<coughs> his uh, zikr. Allah made it compulsory. And associate with him that of which and you obey him. And associate with him that of which I have no knowledge. Hmm. So now he said this, no knowledge. So disbelievers have no knowledge of uh, you, in, like doctor you go to, right? You call doctor. Doctor, I take appointment. I'm uh, uh, Please come see me or, you know, or you go to the hospital, see a doctor. You invite me to disbelieve in Allah and associate with him the, uh, that of which I have no knowledge. I have no knowledge. And I invite you to the exalted in might, the perpetual forgiver. Uh-huh. Oh. I invite you to the exalted in might. Assuredly, that which you invite me has no response to a supplication in this world. Oh. No social worker responding. You call police, Baba. Police coming. Helping you. I want to commit suicide. You call emergency. Assured, assuredly, that which you invite me has no response to its application. Without doubt, you do call me to one who is not fit to be called to, whether in this world or in the hereafter. Our return will be to Allah. Huh. I'm okay. I read this verse, I go down. And you will remember that I now say to you, and I entrust my affair to Allah. Indeed, Allah is seen of his servants. Uh, 45. So Allah protected him from the evils they plotted. And the people of Pharaoh were enveloped with the worst of punishment. And the fire and all this. Meet people of Pharaoh. Okay. Now where we, uh, indeed we, so please uh, do contemplate on the Surah Ghafir. Ayats, uh, I forgot to give you the, maybe I gave you number, uh, then supplicate. So if you call them, they don't respond. They are not the responders. You're calling on the wrong people. They will say, did they not come to you, your messengers, with clear proof? Then supplicate. But the supplication of the disbelievers is not except in error. Supplicate yourselves. Who to supplicate? Uh, then pray. But the prey of those, you mean pray to whom? Uh, they will reply, then pray as you like. But the prey of those without faith, so faith is in the messenger. Indeed, we will support our messengers and those who believe during the life of this world. And on the day when the witnesses will stand, the day their excuses, uh, excuse will not benefit the wrongdoers and they will have a curse. And they will have worst home. 53. And we had certainly given Moses guidance, cause guidance, remember, and uh, be patient, O Muhammad. Indeed, the promise of Allah is truth. And ask forgiveness for your sin and exult with praise of your Lord in the evening and the morning. Surah Fatayat. <laughs> okay. Indeed, those who dispute concerning signs of Allah. I mean, that. Uh, Believe in Allah and exalt his name, exalt him. Muhammad, you say Allah. Indeed, those who dispute concerning the signs of Allah without any evidence having come to them. What evidence is now going to come to us, really? You know, you not want to listen to the disbelievers? You bring thousands, millions of evidence. Your whole uh, reasoning is, uh, your foundation is wrong. Here you say, extent of which they cannot reach. So seek refuge in Allah, okay? The creation of the, how he has uh, misguided you? And not equal are the blind and the seeing, okay? Little as we you learn from admonition. No, we don't learn. The hour will certainly come, surely. And your Lord says, call upon me, I will respond to you. Indeed, those who disdain my worship will enter hell con contemptible. It is Allah who made for you night, uh, okay? And Allah, your Lord, create anything. There's no deity except Him. So how are you deluded? Hmm? Of course, there's no deity except Him. But what this messenger of Allah you made? Thus were those 
before you deluded who were rejecting the signs of Allah. I am rejecting it because I don't see proper reason. In, uh, and he blaming the idol worshippers like anything. And ever living, uh, living one there is no God but he call upon him giving him sincere devotion. Praise be to Allah the Lord of the world. Say, O Muhammad, indeed I have been forbidden to worship those you call upon besides Allah. 66 now, Ghafir. Surah Ghafir, verse 66. Say, O Muhammad, indeed I have been forbidden to worship those you call upon besides Allah. Once the clear proofs have come to me from my Lord. What clear proofs? Can you please explain? And I have been commanded to submit to the Lord of the worlds. It is He who created you from, okay, and uh, reach your time of maturity, yes. And it is He who created you from dust, yes. It is He who gives life and causes death, yes. Matter be and it is. And do you not consider those who dispute concerning the sign of Allah? How are they averted? We don't see them averted. I see you now averted, those who deny the book and that which we have sent, and that which we sent our messengers, that with which we sent our messengers, they are going to know. And so you will know one day, I tell you, Muhammad, when the shackles are on, oh, don't threaten me. In boiling water, oh, fire, oh. Then it will be said to them, where is that which you used to associate with Yani in bracket, with, now they have to put bracket, this verse, 73 of Surah Ghafir, 74 other than Allah, they will say they have uh, departed from us, rather, where is Muhammad now, he has also departed, that's why Abu Bakr said, if you worship Muhammad, know that the Muhammad is dead. But if you worship Allah, know that Allah is ever living. He was the voice of those idol worshippers, suppressed, oppressed. Shut down, Abu Bakr. Voice of the idol worshippers. Other than Allah, they will say they have departed from us. Rather, we do not uh, use to invoke previously anything. Rather, we did not use to invoke previously anything. <clears throat> Thus does Allah put astray the disbelievers. In derogation of Allah, they will reply, they have left us in the lurch. Don't leave me like this. Don't leave me stranded. Oh God, the angels will say that is that was because you used to exalt upon the earth without right and you used to behave insolently. Abu Sufyan, Shias, Abu Ali, so humble, enter the gates of hell, abide eternally, wretched. So be patient, O Muhammad. Indeed, the promise of Allah is truth. Oh, yes. Let Kalki of Dar come now. And whether we show you some of what we have promised them. Uh -huh. I'm not completing. Now I'm very uh, And we have already sent messages before you among them are those who are host. Please say, do not worship these men. No, no, yeah. So uh, we concluded, except by permission of Allah. And it was not for any. So messenger came associating themselves with Allah, right? One God. Only one God who has no partner, nothing, ooh, 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 except by permission of Allah. So when the command of Allah comes, it will be concluded in truth. And the falsifiers will thereupon lose all. Wait till you lose my Kalki of Darkham. Idol worshippers, we have another related to you. Uh, among them are those we have related to you, messengers. And among them are those you don't even... You have not, uh, you have missed. It is Allah who made for you grazing animals and for a benefit you relied need a breath. <laughs> and that you may through them attain to any need in your hearts. 
with the cell of the temple, respirate. And he shows you his signs. So which of the signs of Allah do you deny? Have uh, they not traveled through the land and observed the end of those before them? Numerous. Okay, what else is there? And when the messenger came to them with clear proofs, they merely rejoiced in what they had of knowledge. But they were enveloped in what they used to ridicule. What is this really? I don't know. And when they saw our punishment, like we believe in Allah alone, our punishment, they said we believe in Allah alone and disbelieve in that which we used to associate with Him. You have not associated your messengers with you. But they never did the faith benefit them once they saw our punishment. But but they're professing the faith saw our punishment. Last verse of Surah Ghafir. For when the messengers came to them with clear signs, they, they exalted in such knowledge and skill as they had. As they had. They exalted in their own knowledge that they had. But that very wrath at which they were wont to scoff, hem them in. What? And when the messengers, when their messengers came to them with clear proofs, they merely, merely rejoiced in what they had of knowledge. So how important is your knowledge for you? You have your knowledge. Idol worshippers have their knowledge, who associate others with Allah and call upon others with Allah. Besides Allah, do you see how you say these things? See, now ask them what knowledge they rejoiced in. Jahilat, the knowledge of Jahilat. Al ilmi, ilmi, knowledge. And enveloped. So they have their knowledge. Surah Ghafir, Ayat 83. I cannot take it anymore. Okay, we'll see. You will. I'm just showing you. But now my heart is gone. Uh, my head is shooting. Blood coming up to my head. So excuse me. Thank you very much. I will continue.